Yes, uh, you know, Minister Passes Princess, I think she has been a headache to this parliament. She's very arrogant, so abusive, so insulting, and I do not know exactly what is wrong with that minister. And what I know it does the more is about the Nagoro land saga. You remember when 82.5 hectares of land were distributed to other investors that were not accredited. The minister was using our power to intimidate Uganda Land Commission to make sure those people are allocated land. And we learned later on that among those hectares of land, around eight hectares were allocated to her personally. So when the committee tried to investigate, she was so abusing, insulting, and turning that investigation into a personal matter. Therefore, we are really not happy with her. And I'm telling you, this minister, our conduct, has been since the 10th parliament. We, we were supposed to censor her in the 10th parliament, but she really survived. So at this time, since she became so arrogant, she's unruling, I think we are not going to forgive her. And finally, you know, other people, when they are near the president, I think there's something that makes them grow a big horn. They think that they are untouchable, they only respect the president strictly. We really ask the president to give us people who respect the institution, not him as an individual. Well, I think Namuganza, uh, like was stated, is becoming a serious offender. I was in the tenth parliament. I saw how she treated the tenth parliament. I saw how she abused the commission, how she abused the, the speaker then, how she attacked members of parliament and committees, reducing them to mere uh, useless meetings. I now see what is happening in this uh, 11th parliament. I think there is need for us to send a signal to whoever uh, does not respect parliament, that parliament must be, must be respected. But two, this is not just about Namuganza only. There are very many people I see attack, uh, attack parliament and there is therefore need for parliament to make a statement that you may disagree with some people in parliament. You may disagree with the speaker, you may disagree with me as a member of parliament, but you must respect the institution of parliament. F so for me, it is good that we set a precedent, a precedent that uh, those who go against their um, votes those who go against the um, uh, 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 institutions must be punished. And for me, this is for purposes of setting a precedent that it is possible to take on a minister once a minister has gone against the norms, against the constitution, against um, their duties, that a minister can be censured. Because they were taking it for granted that I can attack Ugandans, I can abuse members of parliament, I can abuse the institution, I can be corrupt and nothing will happen. What can you do? So this thing of what can they do? I have seen other ministers like Kainutafir doing the same. This is, this is a warning to them that it is not just about this one, it is about all ministers, all Ugandans that are in positions of, of responsibility but are using those offices to steal, and, uh, to steal money uh, and uh, fail the offices uh, where they sit. And a message, ya kurabura, over warning, Kuba ministers abarara ne abantu abarara abayina official positions ndi timukoresa offices amwe kumara mechitibwa offices endara wa institutions endara no kuba centers za government ndi no ba centers za government oba no koresa office yo okufuna ebintu byo ngo muntu kati naba ministers abarara 
oba naba ntaba ina office ze nene bakirabe nti tutandise ate nabo tutandise ne na muganza nabo tubara ate tugenda kubanonya nabo basasure sente oba bave mu office ruri na uri minister otafire nenga vuma parliament ngaga nze ngo mtu sija kugenda mu parliament na afuna afuna musara afuna musara buri mwezi na itayagara kugenda mu parliament ate abantu aberu mitoma bamura banga nga member wa parliament wabwe ne tagenda mu parliament ichisoka bosuka mu sittings 15 obo menya obo menya ruruza fe bakujya mu parliament ne cyo kubiri rwacyo osaba umurimu ngatogenda kukora kati yebwa government sija kugenda mu parliament kati member wa parliament wa chundiche yani so twagara ba members ba cabinet wa ministers abugera bwogezinga tibayina kuteka kitibwa mu institution za parliament za institution za government barabenti kunokurabura kiva kono ne nabo kija kugenda yuko batuke ko kubanga tibari waguru wa mateka this is sino kuno siku mega you know principle yoro za kibayita conscience mu Rwanda kirabeka wale yanga amanti baguhita mutima gwo munda I have been very clear, mbade very clear nyo, nsigenda kusaininga. Echi nsa nyo sasa nyo, kurawa nti, haba saini nze, wa ntu chikumi, chenda mumo saa mfubo ka, tewa tu sena, anaba ntu bibiri. So, kurawa nti wacha aleo, haba ntu, haba suka mvisatu. Haba li nendo oza nge yang, nti sense eno. Chile tu wali tu tu linga tu discuss linga saa wen. Tichali cha makuru nyoka kukuleta na ndo wazane sessione juu ba na baji hisi ruwa ruwa sensha motion ruwa debata deko budget frame wa kipepa. So umukazi minister ona repasi na manga si ari nempi sa mbi enunje nyu eshonji kiriza na e bobo raba ubebia tani kira. Data ndi kila mu ad hoc committee. Ya raji chaya ringa, ba mumanyi. Lero, abade sekenda. Mzimbera scientific, lero abade sekenda, uyo ad hoc committee. Ya ndi bade nga tayo gira. Rokuwa vya tani kireyo. Abade sekenda. Ad hoc committee ne janele ta report. Abantu wana abali mu, 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 mu. Mbeba hita mkachiko. Mbano nyamu mtono? Omu. Tulina ba minister wanji wano. Kuminister kasaji. Ya gamba. Ndi ba kasai ninga. Ba kasai ninga. Contract sibiri. Ndi muna yugana genda fusa sura sete nyingi. Nga tamanyi. Nga gamba. Singana hamanya. Sandi sayi ninzi. Awa ba minister wali nukumanga wagenda. So. Awa position. Echa alinti. Uwade, mini stono, si wampisa ya wampisa ya zisinga ya zavarala. Na ye tuline vintu vinji, bituline na kumanga tukula chi, tu discussing. Wale ya ngambi, niti kamarato sayi ninze. Niti wale wo, bagi nda kuwata reporti yo. Ejo, eno sagi na cha, what? Sigi na cha, wabata deko emikono. Niti bagi nda kumanga varaba. Gwobo genda ugeru, niti bagi nda kuja kulisti. Niti buoba, Ya lese ekizampu nga ambi nyo, nga gama, bobo fili rwa. Tiba genda kukuyamu. Bobo lina fundraising, tina genda kukuyamu. So, without all that intimidation, sanyo senyo kuraba nti, really, emikono, chukumiche, nila umo saamu, tefu tu sena bibiri. Thank you so much for asking me this question. We have been through the process of censure. And my position has been that we should not have this censure, we should not even have started this censure process at all. And we, I was basing on like three things. First of all, the ad hoc committee itself, which where some of the information came from, in my view, could have been set up for someone. You saw the chairperson of the ad hoc committee being the seconder of the motion of the motion today. He, could, he shouldn't even have been near uh, the people of Sikendi. Then we got we got, we got to the ad hoc committee. Out of all those people who come to the ad hoc committee, they pick one person. Okay. 
Say that she, 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 she what? But how about the other ministers? People have been saying, now you bring the censure motion. You also bring the censure motion against these ministers. Okay, that is true. But if we were a serious parliament, we would have brought out these censure motions, for example, against Minister Kasaji, who said that when they were signing contracts for civil aviation and even other contracts, he, he was not aware that had he been aware of the contents in the... In, in the in, had he been aware of the contents in the country, he would not have signed. Therefore, today, I want to congratulate, not congratulate as such, but I want to say that I am very happy that uh, out of more than 500 MPs, only 197 signed, it means that what I have been talking about, there are more than 300 members of parliament who agree with me. Okay. And I think numbers don't lie. Thank you very much. Uh, my mind has not changed. I, I'm still stuck on, on that motion. I'm one of the seconders to the motion. Uh, why we are doing this is because we need... This parliament is not a parliament of a joke. It's a parliament for all of us. It's people's parliament. And our people send us here to come and debate matters concerning them and also to appropriate budgets too. But where a member begins to attack parliament, a member of parliament begins to attack an institution where she works, and even to the extent that attacks the presiding officers, that means that's in discipline. We, the members of parliament, can't allow that to happen. Now, Honorable Princess Nabaganza, the person in question here, she has, she has no, in fact, she has no love for anyone in this parliament. That's what I know. I've started working with her right from 10th parliament. And I know she has an attitude problem. I don't know how many friends she has as members of parliament inside this august house. But all what I know is she's that disrespectful. Everyone looks very useless to her. But in this world, things are not done that way. Because we still need each other. Today you're insulting the parliament of Uganda where you're working. Tomorrow you're going to appear in a public, event, a public uh, conference where you need to give a speech or you need to talk to the people. What will people say about you? The way people will analyze you, it will not be the same way. People will now be giving you that opinion of how you were before uttering all these kind of words. Now, it makes us lose respect as members of parliament or even the confidence that the public has in us can be lost anytime. Yes. Thank so we need, we need the confidence of public to be restored and we need her to be censored for, for, for being very disrespectful. And second of all, she's the same person who forged. I remember she forged a letter on behalf of His Excellency. And she's still in the office. That land issue of, of Naguru, she, was, um, she, was, she used her office to abuse the rights of His Excellency. And if she was just an ordinary person, just like you working in that public office, you will be thrown out already. But because she's a minister, she's still there. What is she doing there? Yet she has done so many things that she's not supposed to do in the name of that office. And so on, the Honorable Bona Muganza is a follower of Parliament. Now, yes, Cynthia, Honorable Bona Muganza, Princessy, Nakola Kona Ye, Ngakola Nga Secretary for Female Youth, Zingakola Nga Youth Chairman, who have okay with Sia. Quegamba Yoku Vadaba Demkulembeze, Atali Hambo, Intia Sobara Quenenya. Abadde mukulembeza atawuliriza kudera fo buli mubaka kyayogedde ko kufulo ya parliament eki eki nsanyusiza anti side ya NRM ye yensinze kuno ku wagira obo ku waga inti tu muzeyo wa president e e e, e, e ayinzo kujja mu mpisa kwe gamba nabera nga bakulembeza abalala nga bubabera actually na moganza matter is very important because i am I actually it should uh, be on record that i'm one of the members that signed that motion. Why? Because she used her office uh, to, to, to distribute land to friends, family members, 82 acres in Naguru. Actually, I did not sign because of uh, conduct here in Parliament. I signed to censure because she misused her position as minister in the land transaction. So I think as long as we can still uh, feel comfortable to live with a corrupt, we shall have corruption here. So I signed because of her misconduct, of how she used the office to distribute land to friends and relatives. In the Muganzo, office, 
ensonge ya signing siza sibino ebya conduct ne bidala nze muvunana okwegabanya etaka lye na guru naga mati president yamuwade baluwe mukirizo kuligabanya na ye baluwa natajireta mukachiko actually ensonga zino zemula ba zemula ba wanu zatandikira mukachiko bamugambe baluwa jirete ne ye kandagana okulachi na agenda sonze muvunana buli bwanguzi no kugabanya etaka lya government mu bantu be bayagala echi chiyakozo bimu office ye so kati president ya namanya tena yeta nyina cha chikolera kubanga uh, eteka litugamba kumutegeza ko tegeza parliament independent rekola mirimu jayo 